Hello, my name's David Watkin, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Baroque music. Now, when I said my name, David, you'll, be, you'll notice that I said one syllable louder than the other. I didn't say David, I said David. Now, that's a really important part of our expression, our communication, articulating our thoughts to each other as human beings when we communicate. So, um, and remember that Baroque the Baroque period, we tend to think of Vivaldi and Corelli and Bach, but actually, of course, the Baroque period begins 100 years before those guys in 1600, with people like Monteverdi saying, the words are important, prima le parole, first of all, the words. So instead of having a five-minute piece that just says Ave Maria, and that's the only words, they wanted the music to go together with the text to make a kind of narrative, a kind of sung narrative, like maybe the ancient Greeks had done. Now, the important aspect of this is the way we speak in whatever our native language is, uh, the way that we speak informs the way that we think about how the music works. So I've said straight away, my name's David, strong week. I'm already introducing this idea of dynamic variety. Um, and as we're filming here, this microphone and, and you know, the flickering lights, they will go, David. They will show us that dynamic difference between the two syllables that I'm saying. Now, if I wasn't able to do loud and soft in my voice, I could still make it sound like human speech by saying long, short. I could say David, and that would give me David, would give me a kind of um, what, what we called an agogic uh, stress. So in other words, long, short. Now, ancient languages like Latin and Greek, their poetry tends to be based more on long, short than on strong, weak. But the Germanic languages like English tend to be more based on this idea of dynamic variety. So um, how does that translate to, to what we do as string players? So this is a key difference depending on what kind of instrument you play between the kinds of variety that you can bring into your music making. If you're a harpsichordist or an organist, your main means of expression and variety will be long, short, agogic variety. If you're a singer or a string player or a wind player, um, you can bring in a much more uh, vocal, like lyrical quality of louds and softs into the way that you uh, present your, your song, the way that you make your storytelling more appealing. So one of the issues about how we had this Baroque revival in the 1970s was that it was very much driven by keyboard players whose agogic means of expression became very much the focus of this kind of long short and gaps between words um, rather than a more natural, what I would call a more natural dynamic ebb and flow of uh, louds and softs. And this lovely Italian Baroque word chiaroscuro, the, the darkness and the lightness, and you see in Caravaggio's paintings, completely black background, one shaft of light coming in, lighting everything very dramatically just from one side. So the kind of outline of the, of the face is bright white against this black background, this, this incredible kind of contrast between dark and light. So these, these lights and shades also form an important part of what we do as string players or as dynamic instrument players. <laughs> 